Let's now move on yes. to PlayStation. Yes. Finally, we can talk about PlayStation. And we can talk about a Vita successor reportedly on the way. Uh, Nintendo has uh, held the handheld market in their grasp since the dawn of time, or at least since the Game & Watch in 1980, but Sony have certainly left their mark on the scene over the years too. The PSP was and still is a machine that handheld gamers uh, hold dear to their hearts. It was incredibly ahead of its time, looking very... Uh, looking very but the part as I as I write this article in 2024 and playing powerful games that had no right to look that good on a handheld. Then there was the PS Vita, for which I can't say as many good things. Hey, Sony started off well, but they couldn't keep the same title release momentum that the PSP had. This is a retro Dota article. Yes, this is. Um, but it's been 13 long years, to quote Vol Voldemort, since the Vita was released in Japan. And while we've se we've had a PlayStation Portal that essentially mirrors what's happening on your PS5, there hasn't been a new handheld from the company that could uh, hope to challenge the might of Nintendo. However, NVIDIA analyst and PS handheld leaker Moore's Law is dead uh, has recently reported that there's a new AMD powered handheld on the way from Sony HQ, which means the woes of the Vita could soon be recom uh, recompensed. 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 Of course, they're with the British. They got a lot of flowery language. Okay, that's that explains a lot. Uh, of course, with the success of the Nintendo Switch and the fact that Nintendo have topped the console market since its release in 2017, Sony could Sony would be mad not to release another handheld. Yeah, that's a British word saying mad or crazy. Oh, okay, yeah. I understand. Uh, Moore's Law is Dead stated that the handheld will be powered by an AMD APU custom uh, made first for the new machine with the likelihood that it will run a 1.8 gigahertz or slower to allow for playing of PS5 and PS4 games on the go. The video also states that it, this could be part of a new PS6 marketing campaign, according to WCC uh, Tech, uh, who have also analyzed Moore's Law is Dead's YouTube video. Uh, it could just be the two year. It could just be two years away from release. Still, considering that we've only had the PS5 for less than four years now, I think that it's highly unlikely, uh, especially since the PS Portal was just released. It's more likely we won't be seeing anything in a physical form for another four years at least. But the fact remains that if Sony wants to go uh, hand to hand with hand to hand tell with Nintendo, they're going to have to try and grab a slice of the handheld market. Though I'm not sure they have a big enough plate anymore. Yeah, this could take forever. This could yeah. just, first of all, this could just be something that they're thinking about. This, yeah, this, I'm this sure isn't... they have something in development. But... Every console company is working on wacky shit. Yeah. You know, Apple's been working on a car. Yeah. Apple's We're been never on a car. seeing that car. I guarantee you right now, Sony is working on a PlayStation 6, but you're not seeing that anytime soon. Sony's been working on a car. Yeah. <laughs> That's multiple, true. multiple cars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't mean we're going to see it anytime soon. It could also be something that takes the feedback that they've received from the portal yes. and tries to amend that. That would mean we they, they need to put some sort of uh, actual processing power inside of a handheld. Yeah. Nothing that crazy, just enough to have the thing be functional outside of the internet. Yeah. Um. So I'm not expecting something like the Vita that can play PlayStation 5 games. Uh, but they're right. It could be a way down the line thing. It could be a yeah. PlayStation 6 thing. Mm -hmm. well, when the PlayStation 6 comes out, maybe then they'll have a handheld accomplice to it. Yeah. I Because that's kind of been like the Sony's MO when it comes to like their handhelds. They released the PSP towards the end of the PS2 life cycle. Mm -hmm. And it had like a step below. The graphics were a step below the PS2. Mm -hmm. And then when the Vita came out, that was towards the end of the PS3 life cycle. And the graphics were a step below PS3. Yeah. So it would make sense that, you know, the next handheld would come out at the end of the PS5 life cycle. And the graphics would be a step below the PS5. I mean, right now, we're seeing a lot of PlayStation first party games coming out for PC. Mm -hmm. And they're running pretty damn good on PC. And they're running pretty damn good on Steam Deck. Yeah. So... It wouldn't be hard at all for PlayStation to release a console that is uh, comparable, that can play. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a PlayStation 5 in your hand, mm. but it will be able to play almost all of their first party games. Yeah. You know, it just at a, at a much lower quality. And I think now, because it used to be like with console games, you make one version of the game. But now 
like console games have the ability to you can adjust the frame rate you can adjust the resolution you can adjust like uh the visual effects like variable refresh rate ray tracing all this other crap so like the more and more they're being made like pc games so yeah. you could release you know uh you could release a playstation game on a handheld and be able to tweak it so it runs better you know yeah it's just that uh right now the pc version usually comes out later Mm-hmm. And that's a timed exclusivity thing, but it could also be like they got to tweak the game to make it work on on PC. You know, yeah. it's not just gonna work. It's not just gonna work. You got to do some stuff to it. Um, so I don't know how much stuff they got to do to it, and I don't know if it would be like a day one launch type situation. Yeah, but it's still very possible. Yeah, uh, it would just probably not be as small as the Vita. It would mm-hmm. probably be a pretty oh, big, it'd be massive. Big yeah. boy. Hand- handhelds are massive nowadays. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about portability anymore. yeah they're massive and their battery life sucks <laughs> battery life has been fucking horrible yeah even the portal it's like all it's doing is streaming yeah why is it so bad it's, inc- it's the- incredible how like nobody nobody actually cares about portability anymore <laughs> the vita when the vita came out people were like eight hours of battery life Psh, this thing sucks yeah but now it's fucking amazing yeah now like people would you know Bend over backwards for eight hours of battery yeah. life. Yeah. Now we're, I, I literally got one on my Lenovo. Yeah. And I think I, I got one on the Steam Deck when I played Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got one playing a game the other day. Yeah. Uh, whatever. 